The Yoon Suk-yeol administration officially announced that it will replace the previous government's plan to phase out nuclear power plants. The new plan is to boost nuclear power generation to 30% of the total power output and resume the construction of Shinano nuclear power plants number 3 and 4. This was supposed to be the site of Shinano nuclear power plants number 3 and 4. Following the Moon Jae-in administration's nuclear power phase-out plan, the site has been neglected since the construction was suspended in 2017. Consequently, nuclear power came to account for less of Korea's power generation. In fact, the share of nuclear power generation, which used to be more than 30 percent, fell to as low as 23. President Yoon Suk-yeol emphasized this trend must be corrected. The Yoon government officially announced Tuesday that the nuclear phase-out policy will be scrapped. The administration stated that the Moon government's plan to phase out nuclear power generation would be replaced. More specifically, the percentage of nuclear power generation will be boosted to over 30 percent by 2030. The construction of Shinano nuclear plants number 3 and 4 will resume as well. To further stimulate the nuclear power industry, Korea plans to export 10 nuclear reactors and independently develop small modular reactor models by 2030. Power generation share targets for renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power will be re-established. The previous administration had set the desired percentages at 30 percent by 2030. The current government will devise more detailed plans by the end of the year. Environmental groups criticized the government as having no plans to deal with the disposal of increased nuclear waste and highlighted the risks of extending the lifespan of all nuclear plants. The activists also claim there are no detailed measures to reduce greenhouse gases.